Hi, this is Matt, Mr. Dryout. We're at a house where they had uh, some improper drying about four months ago. Contractors here to, was going to try to do the rebuild, deconstruct, and they found a bunch of mold. Let's go take a look. This inside the house, you can see the kick plates were removed. But if we look at behind the cabinet there, it's pretty dark. And then down the hallway, pop the baseboards. They're just colored as well. This is the uh, trim for the door casing. It's got something growing on it. And this was behind the vanity. A lot of mold, and that's why they called us in to do the job to clean this up. And if you look, since there's been an elevated in the house, you can kind of see those dark spots on the fins, the return register there. And in the hall, in the kitchen, there's quite a bit growing all over the fins. And on this one, it's almost like a plume on that coming out of it. Here's a look at the back of the cabinet. It's green and black on the wall. And a mess. So here's the front, and there's the back. You can see the back is just as moldy as the front. Mm -hmm. That's why you can't use kills and just spray paint things and think it's going to solve the problem. Yeah, right. <laughs> this is the cabinet right to the left side of the, the oven. See the mold damage growing right through the plywood. This is right where the sink was. You can see the discoloration all over the wall. And then check out the back of the, the sink vanity. It's just terrible. You would never have known that unless you looked at it. So this definitely was not dried properly and stayed significantly wet. Here's a look at our job that we just completed. We had to take out the furring strips against the, the wall there. We had to remove some of the studs. Sand the remaining studs. It's gonna have to be rescabbed in. <coughs> Had to cut the door jam out. Four foot high. All this had to be removed. Call Mr. Dryout for the job. We're well done.